Hey, Devin here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a JSON event in Qualtrics. For those who don't know what a JSON event is, it's basically a way for two softwares to communicate and share information with each other. So in my experience, it's mainly used in Qualtrics to receive data from another system, right? And this data can be used in your surveys, which leads to more insightful dashboards. And you can also use it to update your XM directory. So how do we actually do this in the Qualtrics side? Logging into our Sandbox account, the JSON event is actually created in the workflow of a survey project. So what we do here is go into our survey project. We click on the workflow tab here and we create a workflow. As you can see here, you can actually choose a template. So just to kind of browse it very quickly, there's a bunch of other integrations you can do such as Google, JSON, Marketo, um, Microsoft, Salesforce, SFTPs, Slack, and web services. Um, for now, we're just gonna start one by scratch. So we click on start by event, uh, click on get started. And what we do here is we click on a JSON event. And all you have to really do is you have to just copy this link and let it load, copy this URL link and send it to the IT person so they can set up this endpoint on their end. And once the IT team sends over the payload, the trigger event will be captured and you're gonna see a bunch of information be populated on the bottom over here. Once we have done that, we know it's working, and then we clicked on finish. The two most common tasks we set up after the JSON event is working is either have it update the XM directory with the most recent information, or two, actually have the JSON event actually trigger a survey distribution. So depending on what you want, it's either one or two, or can do both. Um, for example, if you want to just set up the XM directory, all you really have to do right now is just map the correct fields with the right JSON uh, information that's coming in. So it could just be your first name, so it'd be Devin, uh, last name B, just say dev at gmail.com. And all you have to do is select the right contact list where it's pulling from the directory, right? Uh, we can see here, just testing and click on save. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or can leave down a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.